I designate the experiences as a fragmentary record of certain communications from friends beyond the veil, who manifested themselves to me through my friend, Mr. Percy Beard, at Hume Towers, on October 23rd and 24th, 1909. I have learned to realize, even in my limited experience of spiritualistic manifestations, how difficult it is to remember the loving words of those spirit helpers who come to us from beyond the veil, partly because of the unbroken flow of the address, and partly because of the even beauty of the language. It is a well-known fact that not one of the least difficulties of communication between spirits in the flesh and those from beyond is in suiting the supernal beauty of their language to mortal intelligence, the physical ear is neither attuned to, nor aligned with, the language of higher spheres, and, although the diction of our spirit visitants transcends the speech of man, yet their words are chosen rather with a view to being intelligible to our fleshly ears than with the purpose of confounding us with their transcendent beauty. In spite of this effort to ensure simplicity, our celestial friends, nevertheless, speak in language that as far transcends human speech as the sun's light transcends that of the moon. The remarkable thing about the language of our spirit guides is the even flow of their periods and the beauty of diction which proceed uninterruptedly through hash out the discourse. Man, as an order, finds difficulty not only in maintaining an even flow of language, but in selecting suitable words wherewith to adorn his discourse, and if he indulges in metaphor, or strings some jewels of speech on his thread of eloquence. It is certain that such gems are few and far between, and appear as conspicuous objects in his great sea of words. These bright gems of thought are strung so closely along the narrative thread of our celestial visitants as to touch each other like beautiful pearls on a necklace, and one who has had the privilege of listening to their Elysian utterances must have been struck with the unbroken outpouring of verbal melody. The difficulty, then, of translating into human language the messages of our helpers from over the borderland of what men call death, becomes apparent, and the following narrative must, therefore, be regarded as but an imperfect attempt to place on record, in a fragmentary manner, certain communications made to me on the nights of Saturday and Sunday October 23rd and 24th, in my music room, through my friend and brother helper, Percy Beard.